first you load the spring, then you put the pulse on it. So yeah. you load the you load the spring by either a pre motion or setting the, the the limbs into a specific stretched posture. Yeah. And I, but you have to do it quickly. So right. you, you you stretch the spring, load it, put the pulse. Well, as you start to recover, you put the pulse on. And uh, right. You know, it, it, it like take take a. Do you know what a hammer thrower is? Guys who throw the yep. metal ball on a on a chain. Yeah. When you watch them wind up, so the idea is to get maximum angular velocity on the hammer, correct? Yep. Okay, well, if you just try, try this, Chris, you'll, you'll know exactly what I mean. Try and wing that thing around overhead and try and get it to go faster and faster and faster. And what you'll find after you get to a certain velocity is your muscles can't move any faster. You're at terminal velocity. Now, the next time, I want you to relax. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do now is put a pulse into the rotation on the hammer, one pulse per revolution. Yep. So you Pulse, relax, relax, pulse, relax, and you'll find that you'll wind up to a much higher terminal velocity on the hammer. Yeah. So there's just another prime example mm -hmm. of, of pulsing with the elastics to enhance uh, performance.